scrape me right up against the wall. Excuse my language. But he, that's what he did. And I had to keep this secret. He showed up naked wearing a condom and tackled me to his bed while I screamed and fought and said no and cried. That's rape. Yeah, um, you know, and that was, that wasn't really, that was just, I think it was cultural and silly and egotistic and, and sad and, and from an insecurity that feeds it. And there's a lot of reasons why we were that way. If you slept with as many people as I slept with, thousands. I mean, talking about six people. There were like 20, right? I mean, that, oh, that I, oh, range I, from oh, I spoke assault poorly. Oh, you mean like, to, that's not, yeah. no, I I spoke poorly to, to 15 of them. I mean, 12 of them. I spoke poorly all the time. I'm a deaf comedy jam guy. I was crude. So how many compromising situations was I in? And if you call that person and say, can you help me help these other women? Then you can get them to tell a story and reimagine a story. And I'm not here to say what they were thinking. But I can simply tell you that I was in so many that people can have a recollection from 30 or 40 years ago. And it can be different from my recollection. And it could be one where there was perhaps collaboration. If you had more foursomes than most guys had once, could someone leave and feel hurt? Could someone leave and feel they wish they hadn't? Could someone reimagine a story out of thousands of people? Could someone want notoriety? in a market where people thirst for fame, even infamous? Could someone who just came out of jail and want to sue you because they had an experience and they can reimagine it just a little bit different? And could you be vulnerable enough to accept it? I took nine lie detector tests. People don't know that. Nine separate. Seven from the chairman of the Polygraph Association. One for each of the sitting situations, accusations. One for the, when someone said, for instance, I was violent, one person said that, I, I've never been violent, took that. And one for I apologized. I never apologized but, about assaulting anyone. But if two people say it, because one said it and me too, and the second person said it, then I took a test for it. Three hours per test by two polygraph examiners. One that I've never done this to anyone and one I've never done to each individual. Some people say that they're not accurate. But if they're 94% accurate, I did nine of them, it's pretty clear that uh, I don't believe it. I even asked if, well, what if I believe it, but it's not true? He said, your subconscious will get you. I said, I don't know how true that is, but that's what was told to me by the chairman of the Polygraph Association. He was filmed, by the way, you know, talking about this. So there's footage available. No one in the mainstream would cover that. Why do you think that is? There's a narrative, it's accusations. One for the, when someone said, for instance, which is what? That um, we, we don't want to go backwards. We want to believe with it. But women and celebrities may be in some cases a little different. But we don't want to not believe women. We have to believe women. We have to give them the benefit of doubt, but we can't demonize people without proof either. Twitter cannot make a decision. I've never spoken to a policeman. I've never spoken to a judge about anything. Which is what? 